So, you know, I think that there's few things more primal than the urge to communicate, the, the pull towards intimacy, towards merger with the other, a way of almost smashing our isolating and debilitating sense of individuation. We feel so separate from everything and everyone, so alienated from ourselves and from other people. And this urge to communicate, or as Terence McKenna says, this, this urge to language is an ecstatic activity of signification. It is a way of saying we are here and we exist. It is a way of affirming our own existence. And so through these developing communication technologies that started with crude grunts as early hominids that evolved into language and ecstatic cave paintings that eventually evolved into the alphabet and writing. It was this urge to, to telepathy, to experience a technologically mediated telepathy, to share minds to share mind spaces with one another. And this is known by David Porish as intersubjectivity and the ecstasy of communication. Intersubjectivity, like two strands of DNA, human beings get coiled up in one another when they have sex, when they proclaim their love with language, when they take pictures and make ecstatic paintings and compose songs to put each other in one another's world. You know, perhaps the cinema is the best technology thus far to allow us to share dreams spaces together, but this urge to merge ultimately is about a desire for intimacy. It's a cry, it's a manic existential agitation, a desire to become one. That is its origin. That is where it comes from. We are travelers, hermonauts, in search of signification. That, that is our condition. <laughs>